Hey everyone, it's Vinny, and we're here to talk about the Grade 1 Woody Stevens this Saturday on Belmont Stakes Day. Yes, we have finally reached the end of this year's Triple Crown Trail. It all ends this Saturday, but the Woody Stevens is race 8 on this 13 race extravaganza of a card. Overall, the card is fantastic for Saturday if you haven't looked at the other races. It's going to be a fun day of racing. Uh, and we have 13 entered in uh, in the Woody Stevens this year. Let's kind of get into this. Uh, there's a lot of early speed in this race. Eight of the 13 runners have time form early pace figures that are over 100. And four of the eight have early pace figures over 120. This should be a very fast pace. I wouldn't say super, super fast. Usually in these kind of races, a couple of them do hang back. And it's not as fast as a lot of people think, but I still think we're going to go like a high 21, maybe, maybe like a 22 flat into around a 44 half mile, in my opinion. There's not a lot of horses in here that have won at this seven furlong distance. Only three of the horses have actually won at this seven furlong distance. So a lot of unproven speed at this distance. I will start this by saying I'm not using either Bob Baffert runner here, and I do have reasons, not just the fact that they're Baffert horses. I actually really do like Arabian Lion as a horse. I just think this is a very bad spot for him. He strikes me as a need the lead type, and he does not like being pressed. Every race he has been pressed in his career, he has lost. The races where he does not get pressed, he wins. With the other speed in here, I do not see how he gets alone on the lead. So unless he has learned to rate, I don't see him really being a major factor in here. I, I think he'll finish off the board. So that's why I'm tossing Arabian Lion. As for Fort Bragg, I, I think his last race was as, as good as you're going to get from Fort Bragg. Uh, I've never been super high on this horse. He loses a lot of close races, and that's exactly what he did in the Pat Day Mile. He ran a monster race, and he still lost. Uh, I would find it hard to believe he's got a better effort than that. Now, I know the Pat Day Mile was going an extra, uh, an extra furlong, so he is cutting back here, and he would have had the lead at that point in the Pat Day Mile. But with the other speed in here, I, I think it's it's asking a lot for him to repeat an effort. He has never really been one to repeat efforts, in my opinion. So that's why I'm not using both of them. Plus, they're both going to get bet, uh, bet off that morning line. All the efforts usually do. So at a little bit of shorter prices, I think it's safe to not use the Bafferts if you were... If you are leaning towards using them and you want to use and you want to use one, I personally would use Fort Bragg over using Arabian Lion in this spot, just because he has shown to come off the pace and there's a lot of speed. But again, I'm not using them. With my third choice, though, I am going to go for some speed here, and that is with the Rail Draw runner New York Thunder for Delgado with Santana Jr. riding. He just, he looks like a sprinter through and through. Nyquist on top out of a midshipman dam. He's three for three lifetime. Two of those wins though came on synthetic, the other on turf. So it's going to be his first time on dirt. But he runs quick. Uh, two of his three races, the opening quarter mile has been under, uh, under 22 seconds. Uh, his last race, he ran 22 seconds, which is the slowest opening quarter he's ever run. But he ended up winning by seven. Kind of hard to fault him on that. He's been working out fantastic too. Uh, the bullet work on May 27th at Mammoth. He was uh, first out of eight, uh, 80 in his work. He's 12 to 1 morning line. I get it because step up in class, trying dirt for the first time. I think we're going to get every bit of this morning line uh, at uh, come post time. But the other reason I really like him is I think there's a chance that he is the speed of the speed. From that inside post, if he breaks well, he's got the shortest trip into that first turn. With as quick as he is, I think it's going to be hard for somebody on the outside to clear him. So I think at best, as long as he breaks good, he is just going to be being he's just going to be pressed. And I think there's a lot of horses in this field that really need the lead, and I think he's going to mess it up for mess it up for them. So I put him third thinking that he's going to put away the other speed pretty early in here and he's just going to really have to deal with the horses who want to come from off the pace. So I think he might be able to hang around for third at a price. Uh, I'm using him underneath. Uh, if he really is like 12, 13 to 1 uh, come post time, I might throw a little win bet on him. But he's not one. I'm, I'm not going to try not to go too deep here on my pick five tickets, so he's, he won't be on them. 
My second choice in here is General Jim. He is the morning line favorite. Uh, I do think we probably get around this morning line, though. I don't think he'll get bet too hard off this morning line. He's 7-2. to two. I think around 3-1 to one's fair on him. He likes to come from off the pace. There's a lot of unproven speed in here, and there is a lot of speed at that that could tire each other out. I think it's very hard not to use General Jim in this spot. He might just trip out. Uh, the cutback, maybe, maybe he can get him beat. But he did win at this distance uh, two races back. So it's not like he hasn't won at this distance before. He's one of the three horses actually that have won at this distance. He's won back-to-back -back graded stakes. Uh, and he just keeps improving. Uh, very hard to knock, knock General Jim. I will be using him. My top pick in here is going to be a federal judge, though, for Rudolph Brissett. Who I'm, I personally was surprised he was 8-1 to in the morning line. I figured he would be like second or third choice. He is not. Uh, so I'm kind of happy about that. I think he will get bet down, though. He looked like a future stakes winner on the, the Derby undercard when he went gate to wire against uh, Extra Anejo, who everybody was very hyped about him coming back and did not run bad in that spot. Uh, he's 2-for-2 two two lifetime. His last race, he went gate to wire, but in his first race, he did show the ability to be pressed. He was second at one point, and that made him win, and then he did pull off and win. I don't think he actually needs the lead, though. He's just naturally quick early. I think that's kind of going to be key here. Uh, if he really is not a need-the-lead type, like I think, like I don't think he is, he's going to be able to sit a length or so behind some of these other runners like New York Thunder. And if his speed carries like it, like it has in his first two races... He's going to be very tough to beat in the stretch. I really like his pedigree. He's owned by big time connections. I, I think this horse is going to be a very good sprinter in this three-year-old division uh, as we head into the summer. Uh, Pratt's also back riding. Pratt's been hot lately. So hard to hard to get away from him, in my opinion, especially at the 8-1 to one morning line. If I get 5-1, to one, I'll be thrilled. But this is a very competitive Woody Stevens, and it does start the mandatory pick five payout on Saturday. I'm sure the dudes will have another video going over that sequence, or at least some of the races in that sequence, if they haven't come out with them already. Uh, but what do you think? I'm I'm all in on Federal Judge. He's my horse in this race. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, let me know. And best of luck if you are playing uh, the Belmont card this Saturday, and I will see you next time. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. The Triple Crown is in full swing, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.